Romans chapter 8 verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahweh, to them who are called according to his purpose. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, on the Brother Ties of War, back at you again with another lesson. Lord's willing, uh, praise edifying to those of the whole four elect. And um, <clears throat> let's get right into it. This is Romans 8 and 20. Matter of fact, uh, the point is in 28. So I'm going to read into it. This is uh, Romans 8 and 20. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who have subject the same in hope. And that creature is us, which was subject to vanity, meaning made to go off. All right. We're in sinful flesh. You know, scriptures say we all fall short of the glory of the most high. All right. And we go off, but not willingly. All right. So let's read that again. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who have subject the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of the most high. All right. And the bondage of corruption is these bodies. And that's why Apostle Paul, he also made mention uh, about being changed. Well, the elect will be changed in a twinkle of an eye, you know, because if you of the elect, then guess what? You know, you of that first fruit, you know, you of that uh, kingdom to come. All right. Anyway, verse 22, for we know that the whole creation groineth and travaileth in pain together until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the spirit, even we ourselves growing within ourselves, waiting for the adoptions to wit the redemption of our body. All right. And it says, which have the first fruits of the spirit. OK, now that word first fruits. You know, which gets into, uh, let me go into it. All right. Okay, it says the offering of fatlings or first fruits to take away the first fruits of the productions of the earth, which was offered to the most high, the first portion of the dough. So the first fruits is the first portion. All right. It says from which sacred loaves were to be prepared, hence term use of persons consecrated to the most high for all time. It says persons superior in excellence to others of the same class. All right. So the first fruits are more superior in excellence to others of the same class. All right. Scriptures say uh, the portion of Jacob is not like them. All right, so I want to grab a quick precept, and this is um in the book of 2 Timothy, the second chapter. So I'm going to start at verse 3. It says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahabashah Mashiach. No man that war entangle himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. All right, see? Have chosen him. Because you can't choose the Lord, the Lord choose you. So it says, no man that warreth entangle himself with the affairs of this life, that we may please him, that's Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, who have chosen him to be a soldier. Verse 5, and if a man also strive for his masteries, yet he is not crowned, except he strive lawfully. The husbandman that laboreth must be first partaker of the fruits. So in order to be this soldier for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay, it says, and if a man also strive for his masteries, yet he is not crowned, because that's what we're looking for to be crowned by Yahweh Shai. It says, except he strive lawfully. All right, so in order to be a, a soldier of the Lord, you have to be chosen. All right, and you have to strive lawfully. And verse 6, it says, The husbandman that laboreth must be first partaker of the fruits. And that's being of the first fruits. All right. 
So, uh, matter of fact, let me grab another another scripture. Uh, it's going. Let me see. First Corinthians fifteen. Fifteen twenty-three. This is First Corinthians chapter fifteen, verse twenty-three. It says, "But every man in his own order." You know, the Lord has His own order. All right, in this truth, when we that's how we call it in this truth. But it's, you know, in order of the way of the Lord. All right, but every man has his own order. Yahweh Shai, the first fruits. Afterward, they that are Yahweh Shai's at His coming. Okay, so Yahweh Shai, which is another uh, another way they say, well, another um, uh, title of the Lord is being the only begotten son. And that means he's what? The first spirit created. And then you had the Alahayim, the powers that, that came after him. All right, which is the elect, the first fruit. So it says, but every man has his own order. Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, the first fruits. Afterward. They that are Yahweh Shai's at his coming. All right. That's just straight to the point. Let me highlight that. All right. And uh, let me get one more scripture comes to mind is uh, First Thessalonians. First Thessalonians 4. 15 because there's an order in this thing there's an order in this truth all right the lord deals with order he's not the author of confusion so this is first thessalonians 4 and 15 for this we say unto you by the word of the lord that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the lord shall not prevent them which are asleep all right because there's some men of the lord that's gonna die all right and there's some in the men of the Lord that's going to stay alive and not taste of death. But the men that die, that doesn't, you know, exclude them out of the order of being of the first fruits. So it says, for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. And with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of the most high and the dead in Yahweh Shai shall rise first. So who's going in the chariots first? Those that had died in the Lord. Okay. So that's order, man. All right. Uh, jumping back. Let's continue. Romans 8 and uh, 24. For we, sit, for we are saved by hope, but, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why do he yet hope for him? But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Likewise, the Spirit also help with our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession uh, for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. It says, And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is in the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of the Most High. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahweh, to them who are called according to his purpose. All right. So being called according to his purpose. It says for whom he did foreknew, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. All right. And that's Yahweh Shai. OK. And it's a key word. There is predestinate. All right. Predetermined. Uh, uh, determined beforehand. OK. Even Jeremiah, uh, the first chapter where he says uh, the Lord told him, I knew thee in, in the I knew thee in the womb. I knew thee in the belly. All right. Because Jeremiah was ordained to be a prophet unto Israel. In Jeremiah one and five. It says, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and I ordained thee to be a prophet unto the nations. All right. So that just shows you that predestination is predetermined. The Lord chooses you. You don't choose the Lord. 
All right. The prophets and the men of the Lord is who the Lord's chosen. And you're going to know this chosen as uh, the Lord said in Matthew 24. He that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. All right. So let me just jump back and let me speed things up. It's back in Romans 8 and uh, 29. For whom he did for new, he also pre he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. All right. So that word predestinate. All right. I had it queued up. You look in the uh, etymology online. It says that in theology of God to foreordain by divine decree or purpose, someone to salvation or eternal life. It says, uh, predestinate, determined beforehand. So predestinate means what? To predetermine, or excuse me, determine beforehand. Okay, so before a thing is done, it was already planned out for it to be. All right. Romans chapter 8, verse 30. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we then say to these things? If Yahweh be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? It says, who shall lay anything to the charge of Yahweh's elect? It is Yahweh that justifieth. All right. So for now, let me just move on. Make it quick. I'm going to end the show. All right, uh, Ephesians 1 and 4. Let me get straight to the point. So, uh, start at 3. It says, Ephesians 1 and 3. Blessed be the power and father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Yahweh Shai. It says, according as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. All right. So it says, um, according as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. So the Lord have chosen his elect before the foundation of the world. All right. He spoke of the, the, the end from the very beginning. Okay. It says that we should be holy, which means separate. And without blame before him in love. So the elect is separate. All right. From the rest of Israel. Verse five. Having predestinated. There with that word again. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai Mashiach to himself. According to the good pleasures of his will. All right. Now it's my last precept here. This is in the book of Titus. Chapter 1, verse 1, it says, Paul, a servant of Yahweh and an apostle of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. And the word apostle just means to be sent out. All right. Apostle Paul wasn't of the 12, but he was an apostle because he was sent out on, on the mission. Okay. Apostle means to be sent out. Okay. It says, according to the faith of Yahweh's elect and, and, acknowledge, and acknowledging the truth, which is after godliness, and hope of eternal life, which the Most High, that cannot lie, promised before the world began. All right. So, Lord willing, I hope this lesson was edifying. All right. The elect is predestinated. All right. To be delivered. Okay. They of the first fruit. All right. The, the best out of the best. You know, the scriptures also come in mind when the Lord said he had kept the cluster of grape unto himself. All right. So everything that's being done, OK, that we see and what we go through is already predetermined. What's the outcome going to be? All right. There is no free will, you know, living in this life and this wicked God forsaken society, man. All right. So I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.